Hello, hello. Welcome to Creep on June. What's it all about? Well, I was talking to Corey maybe two or three months ago now, and we were talking about Christmas in July. And we kind of had an idea of maybe challenging ourselves between the two of us to kind of come up with some videos on Halloween in June. So we kind of carried on talking and like many things when you talk to Corey they end up being so much bigger than they started out and a collaboration grew from there. Before we kind of put the collaboration together I decided to work on a kit and see if I could come up with anything and I started working on some Halloween minis little ephemera pieces, little tags, little things that could be used in other projects or used as projects on their own. And then the lovely Linda came to me and asked me if I had plans for any new matchbox kits. And I was like, ah, oh, let's do a matchbox kit to go with the minis for Halloween. And it all kind of started to fall into place. Um, and then we had a bit of a family issue, as many of you know. So it didn't kick off straight away. But I was still working on it behind the scenes and then I kind of put it out to a few different creators to see if they'd be prepared at short notice to do this collaboration. And so many people have been amazing and said yes. So we did manage to pull off this collaboration for June. In the, although it's been a long time in the making, it kind of all came together really quite late. So... Some of the creators are established and some of the creators are much newer with smaller channels. So please, please do go and check out those channels. Um, subscribe to them, follow them and check out what they do for the collaboration. It really means a lot to all of us um, to support smaller channels and Instagram accounts because we have some Instagram accounts this time too. The kit, I'm going to insert that here. So for the first five days of June, the kit is going to be 50% off. So if you do want to join along with the kit, you can get 50% off the kit until the 5th of June. I'm going to put the description, I'm going to put a link to the kit in the description box. I'm going to link everybody involved in the collaboration and the days they're involved in the description box. But I'm also going to put a link to our website because on our website, we have a kind of like funky looking plan of the month, you can click on the day and it will take you to the channel involved in that day. So you can keep an eye out for when their video is released. I suppose we need to get started and create some matchboxes. The matchboxes come like this, but then there is also a page of matchbox bases. Okay, so the bases are all on a page on their own. Oh, those spiders, they are everywhere just drop them all um the, the matchboxes come like this now when you print you'll see there's a little gap here okay and that's to show you you need to kind of miter that edge and i also miter the opposite edge when i'm cutting these out because it makes it a whole lot easier to put them together if you do that so i'm going to grab one that i've cut and we're going to put together a basic matchbox first of all. So keeping it simple for the first one. What you need to do is work your way round to fold all of your pieces. And it is fairly straightforward. They do tend to fold where they're supposed to. So I'm going to fold all of my pieces in. And I'm just going to work round the box to make sure all of my folds are done. Thank you. 
Okay, so all of my creases are in that piece. I'm now going to take this back piece. That's obviously the panel that goes in there. Fold here. Okay, so now for inking. There are a couple of bits that you need to kind of make sure you ink properly. And the first piece is just along the crease of these white sections here, just because there is a possibility they may well show when you fold your box. If you're not perfect at the edges, you might get a little bit of this showing. And let's face it, who's perfect? It will also depend on how well you cut out your box. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is the edges of each flap. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold the matchbox kind of backwards, if you like. And I'm going to ink these corners here. Because if the base doesn't fit perfectly, again, you might get a little bit of that showing. You can always use a little brush to ink afterwards. If you put your box together and realise you've got some white showing, you can always ink later using a little brush. So I now have that kind of square and I'm also just going to do the inside of those little flaps as well. So on the back here, on this piece, I want to make sure I ink the edge of that flap. I'm also going to ink around the inside edges like this. And then I'm going to grab my brush and just lightly ink the entire inside of that box. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you won't really see much of the inside. So that is our inking done. On my little boxes, what I did was I used a split pin and I just tied a tiny little label to give me a little bit of a gap between the split pin and the box so I can use my nails to open that. And that's a pretty basic method. You don't even have to have the the little label if you don't want to. You could just put your split pin straight in. Oops, or chuck it on the floor, that's fine. You can throw it on the floor. I probably have several on the floor. So I've got those ready. And the first thing I'm gonna do is attach my split pin to my box before I even put it together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by tying a bit of a knot. I'm not going to tighten it, not as yet. Get it fairly tight and then I'm just going to pop my split pin in and do that up. And now I'm just going to tie another couple of knots to kind of secure this little tag around my split pin. It's a little bit fiddly. You could always use a band if you wanted to, or you could use a spent eyelet. I just like these little labels hanging off. So I've got something like that. Right, I grab my awl, decide which end I want my drawer. I think I'm going to put it this this side just I'm just eyeballing the center I'm going to put a little hole in like that grab my split pin push that through and then open the split pin the other side And you can just about see there's a little bit of a gap there 
where that knot is tied. So the first thing I'm going to glue is that corner. And I'm going to put the glue onto the flap and just put a little bit of extra glue on that split pin. Fold that and then just burnish that down. So that's now glued down. You can see I didn't do a perfect job of that. It's not perfect, but the box will still go together really well. So I'm just going to glue this side next. So you just push that down whoop, and burnish that. Right, once we've got that done, I have done a really poor job of that. Never mind, never mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one edge just to show you what I do. So I fold the flap down, glue that. You want to make sure that outside edge is nicely glued. And then fold it and hold it in place to get a nice corner here. You can use your fingers to feel that that's in place. And then I'm just going to burnish that piece down. And let's do this side. So fold it down, glue the flap, and make sure you get that outside edge glued. And then again, fold it in, hold it in place, and make sure you've got a nice corner. When you're sure you have, then burnish that into place. Right, now these two we kind of have to do at the same time. So I'm just gonna fold that back for a bit. So I've got my two flaps. Again, make sure you're gluing that corner. And then fold that one in a bit. Line it up, and that one. And when you're happy with those, burnish those two down. Okay, now I'm just going to fold these over. going to glue these, fold that back in, and then the last edge. I know it seems like a lot of flaps, but you, then, you do get a much neater box. You know, when this is not made with a die, this is printed and hand cut. So, you know, we, we've we got the shape of our drawer. Not bad, not bad. So what I do is just take that base piece, make sure it's going to fit in there and decide if I need to trim any pieces off. And I think I'm just going to trim a small amount off one of those edges like that, glue it, and add that to the bottom. And there we go. And you can see where we glued, where we inked a little bit down there just to make sure that edge is not pure white. So that's lovely. I'm going to take the cover of the box. We only need to glue the flap here. Just make sure we get a nice bead of glue along the edge. And then I fold the box over. 
and burnish down and then I'll push it the other direction just to make sure we've got a nice box there like so and then we can slide in the drawer into our box and that is putting one of the basic drawers together now I've got so many of these made and I can't tell you what's in what they some of them <laughs> let's have a look that one's empty oh this one's got stuff in it so this one is full of little words and things from the kit that I've cut out but I've printed those onto these are printed onto a semi-gloss paper so I have a set in there printed onto semi-gloss in here I have more ephemera printed onto semi-gloss I mean there's a lot of stuff in this kit these are the envelopes that I have printed and made and they're in another box This is the ephemera just printed out normally. And you can see it's mostly designed to fit into the box. A few of the larger pieces, like these, these won't fit into the boxes because they're kind of designed as an embellishment for the top, really. The doors won't fit in the, bo on, in the boxes and neither will some of the tombstones because they're designed as a, as a feature to kind of decorate the outside of the boxes, really. So that's that. Um, yeah, so in the next video, that's just a very basic kind of rundown of what's going on. Do go and check out all of the channels involved. Please, it would really mean a lot to everybody. I think this is one of my favourites, the little, the little book books. Um, yeah, please do go and check them out. And um, I will be back tomorrow with another make or two. Um, so thanks for joining me and I'll see you all really soon tomorrow. Bye.